Hi y'all, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, I'm Melody, and on this channel I like to discuss fragrances. Today I will be exploring the House of Oud. If that's something you're interested in, please keep watching. <music> I have been pretty interested in trying out fragrances from the House of Oud. I really love their beautiful bottles. Each one is completely unique from the other and I think that's really amazing. I think some of the bottles are just absolutely beautiful. And then there are some fragrances that I was really intrigued at getting. So I ordered a few samples of fragrances um, from Lucky Scent. So I went through the catalog of fragrances on Fragrantica and looked for ones that had notes that intrigued me. I purchased six samples to go over and see what I liked. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that I was actually disappointed, um, spoiler alert, by every single one of them. Uh, I do not think the House of Oud is a fragrance line for me. For one reason or another, there was just something about the fragrance that I didn't care for enough to want to purchase a bottle. So I was apprehensive of coming on here and just bashing fragrances. Um, and I really just didn't want to do that. <laughs> I've been going back and forth on whether I should make this video or not. But I want to give my honest opinions. I'll put in my first impressions here and then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts on these fragrances. Before I get into my first impressions, I was unable to get samples off of the House of Foods website. Um, I can't recall why. I think maybe they were out of stock on some. So I looked at some other um, decant websites or ones that would give samples and so I went through scent split for these and I got the little one mil samples but I don't like to dab I'd rather spray so on Amazon I went and I bought uh, these little two mil spray atomizers and I poured each one of them in uh, so I can link these little atomizers I think they're actually really really great and I believe these are glass ones anyhow I just want to mention that before I went on and I'm going to start with keep glazed um, so the main accords for Keep Glazed are sweet, fruity, tropical, vanilla, electronic, and coconut. The top notes are mango, strawberry leaf, iced lemon. Middle notes of whipped cream, coconut, and ginger. And base notes of fruity notes, musk, and precious woods. So everything about this fragrance makes me think I'll like it. And I've heard really, really good reviews on it. Mm. It's very fruity. But there's something, I think, from that strawberry leaf. That's making it a little green. Hmm. There's something interesting about this one. I'm getting a little bit of the lemon. It doesn't smell like a regular lemon. Like something, I don't know what iced lemon means, but it's, it smells a little different. I'm not sure how I feel about mango. So I found that in some cases when I have smelled mango body products and stuff, it kind of has like almost a B.O. kind of scent to it. So I don't know if that's what I'm finding with this one. But I'm interested in having this dry down and see how I feel about it. Next I have Empathy. So Empathy has main accords of fruity, sweet, woody, tobacco, floral, oud, and aromatic. The top notes are raspberry bloom, pear blossom, artemisia, middle notes of raspberry, tobacco, and fruity notes, base notes of agarwood, woody notes, spruce, benzoin, and musk. So I'm really interested in what raspberry bloom smells like. Um, I also really know that I like a pear blossom fragrance and I'm interested in the tobacco. I'm, I'm always really looking for a nice tobacco fragrance because I do like a lot of them, but sometimes they come off a little screechy to my nose, so I'm still on the hunt for a really good one. Oh, that's really nice. Hmm, that is interesting. So I think that mixture of the raspberry bloom and pear blossom is giving me kind of like a um, a fruity shampoo smell, but the tobacco is giving it like a deeper kind of richer vibe. I think I must be smelling either the artemisia or it can't be the spruce. I can't imagine any of those base notes are peeking through, but there's something a little maybe woody or green to it. It could be the raspberry bloom. I'm imagining that's where it's still kind of green. Yeah, this is really interesting. I would say it smells very much 
like a nice shampoo. I think of everything, that's where it, it's landing right now. Next, I have Breath of Infinite. Its main accords are musky, amber, powdery, floral, woody, and fruity. The top notes are freesia and peony, middle notes of peach, base notes of ambroxan, cashmere, and musk. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of musk. There's a lot of musk fragrances that I don't care for, but I was really interested in trying this one. Hmm, okay. These are all quite unique fragrances. I'm, I mean, it's a niche brand, and so that's kind of what you come to expect, but... I was surprised at how different each one of these smells. Hmm, there's something in this that's, I'm almost picking up that's like peppery. I don't really think I smell peach. To me, this doesn't smell like a peach. What is this? It kind of, my the, the image that's popping into my head is this little old, candy shop in Seaside, Oregon. It like brings me back to a memory when I was like, I would go there in the summers. Yeah, it has like um, ice cream on one side and then there's also like all the salt water taffy. So I don't, I mean, nothing in here makes me think of, that I would smell that, but that's what it's reminding me of. So it's really interesting. I don't know what's doing that. It's really interesting. Next I have What About Pop. So this main accords are sweet, vanilla, electronic. The top notes are popcorn, caramel, and hawthorn. Middle notes of whipped cream, Madagascar, vanilla, and night blooming cereus. Base notes of ebony, benzoin, musk, ambergris, and Madagascar vetiver. So I was really interested in smelling something with a popcorn note and with a caramel and thinking like a really nice caramel popcorn and then the whipped cream I'm always interested in smelling in a whipped cream fragrance um this is really nice this is exactly what I would expect from this kind of fragrance it is pretty literal um I'm interested to see the dry down and how those other notes play into this caramel popcorn especially because they're top notes I imagine they'll go away pretty quickly and that popcorn thing will go away but I really am enjoying this opening. I think I'll actually be sad when this opening probably dries down and you get more of the benzoin and vanilla and stuff. I like those notes, but there's something really unique about this caramel popcorn. This is actually really nice. Um, I really enjoy this uniqueness and I think this is a bottle I'd probably want to get, but I haven't put it on my skin and I really want to give it a full wear before making any decisions. But it is really nice. Next, I have Dates Delight. So the main accords are sweet, vanilla, honey, warm, spicy, amber, and cinnamon. Top notes of dates and peony. Middle notes, cinnamon, caramel, tonka bean, and coumarin. Base notes of honey, sugar, vanilla, benzoin, and labdanum. I'm getting cinnamon, like, right away. And I get the dates. That peony is quite strong. I think I, I like it. Um... That is an interesting combination, that like freshness from the, like fresh floral from the peony. That kind of reminds me of a lot of shampoos. Um, and then kind of a richness from the dates and a bit of a kick from the cinnamon. Yeah, this is interesting. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but there's like a lightness to this um, that I was, I don't think I was expecting from a fragrance called Dates Delight. I'm not so sure on this one. Um, I do like it. I, you know, all of these, there's not been one that I've disliked at this point, but of the one so far, this one I am not sure if I like as much. But I am interested to try it. Last, I have Almond Harmony. So the main accords are vanilla, almond, powdery, sweet, amber, balsamic, nutty, fruity, floral, and white floral. Top notes are almond, bergamot, orange blossom, and pedigree. Middle notes of heliotrope, ylang ylang, iris, and jasmine, and rose. Base notes of vanilla, tonka bean, tolu balsam, peru balsam, and musk. So I am pretty interested in this one. I love a really good almond fragrance. So this is one that I'm pretty excited for. This smells like bubblegum. <laughs> 
I've smelled fragrances that claim to be like bubblegum scented. They have bubblegum notes or people say that there's like tuberose that comes off really bubblegummy. And I have not found that to be the case to my nose. But this one, surprisingly, reminds me of bubblegum. Why is that? That's so weird. I did not expect this from this fragrance at all. I was thinking it'd be another one of those almond fragrances that I really love. I was a little taken aback by some of the notes, but I was still thinking that I would get more almond in this. But I really like this. Um, it is super unique. I'm picking up a little bit of that like dusty iris smell, like makeup-y smell. I don't know if it's from the pedigrain. I don't know, something about this. To my nose, this smells like bubblegum, but I, that could just be me. I'll have to go back and look at comments and see. Maybe I just have a really weird nose. I don't know. But I like this one. It is really unique. I don't know if everybody would like this one. Because there's also something, something just ever so slightly like medicinal. Like, like maybe a topical cream, but like right away it smells like a bubble gum, but maybe not like your typical like pink bubble gum, maybe more of like, um, I don't know, um, I'm thinking of this bubble gum that I used to have when I was younger that wasn't like hubba bubba or your like bubble tape or something in it was this I don't know what it is I don't know something about this reminds me of bubble gum but I can't I can't place it so now I've let them all kind of dry on the cards and I want to go through and give them another try so keep glazed hmm okay no, I don't think I like this one. Yeah, this is smelling funky. It smells kind of like B.O. or something. I think it's that mango. It could also be like the coconut. There's something. You know, I find that I don't like a lot of coconut fragrances. I actually like the ones that people are like, oh, it just smells like sunscreen. Those are my favorite. Most other coconut fragrances I've just, I don't care for. Um, this, Yeah, something about this. Maybe it's a strawberry leaf. I don't know. At first spray it was nice, but I as it was as I was smelling it before, I was starting to think I might not like this one, and sure enough, there's something that smells off. I I don't like this one. But I'm going to try it on my skin and give it a good wear, see how long it lasts and stuff, but this is not one that I care for. Next is empathy. It smells like shampoo. <laughs> I can't recall the prices of these Hasselbood fragrances, but it's a nice shampoo, like a very nice shampoo smell, but I don't know if it would be worth the Hasselbood prices for like a really nice shampoo smell. But it is nice. There is something unique about it, but it does have a bit of that just shampoo quality. I'm interested to see how this plays on my skin though, but it is nice. I think this might be one I try on my skin now. Next is Breath of the Infinite. Hmm, this one's really light. It's... Yeah, it still smells like that beach shop candy store. That's so weird. I don't know what, why it smells like that, but it is nice. It's interesting though. Do I want to smell like that beach shop candy store? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll give it a try. Next I have What About Pop. Hmm. It still smells really, really, really nice. It's got that warm, cozy thing, but that caramel popcorn is already kind of fading, which is a bit of a bummer. I still kind of smell it, but it wasn't as strong as when I first sprayed it. I'm getting a lot of the whipped cream and the vanilla, so it's still obviously like a really nice fragrance, but I'm a little bummed. I, I get, I still get a little bit of the caramel. I'm not sure that I smell much of the popcorn at all. Hmm. It is still really nice, though. Next is Dates Delight. 
see this okay this one is starting to smell quite a bit like empathy they both have peony in it so I think I'm just picking up that peony and that's probably why they smell similar and really my nose is really only getting that peony and maybe a little bit of richness from the dates I'm not I'm not smelling anything else it just smells like peony still hmm I don't know how I feel about this one. And last is Almond Harmony. Yeah, it's got this weird bubblegum medicinal... You know what it's reminding me of? Maybe it's not just bubblegum, but like that like sleeping gas stuff that they give you at the dentist's office when you're a kid and you could like choose the flavor of it. And like, I mean, every kid picks like bubblegum, right? So... It's maybe like that. Maybe it's that combination of like that artificial bubble gummy smell and that medicinal like dentist office quality. But I like it. Like, <laughs> I like it probably too much. That's weird. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to try this one on my skin. I'm going to put empathy on top of my hand. And then I'll put what about pop on the other But it does smell like a candle. Like Yankee Candle. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. It did smell that way on the card. Next I have Breath of the Infinite. Okay. That's so weird. This one smells just like being at that candy shop at the beach. Super weird. Okay. And now Almond Harmony. Hmm, okay. I'm getting less of the bubble gum now. There's something like spicy about it. Interesting. Hmm, okay. Empathy? No, maybe that's not. Yeah, empathy? Empathy's nice. Um, it's still kind of like a nice shampoo. What about pop? Hmm, I like it. But it's smelling kind of like a a waxy candle. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, smells like the beach shop still. Really interesting. And this one, almond harmony. <sighs> it smells like something else now. On my skin, it smells so different. Hmm, well, those are my first reviews. I'm really interested in seeing how these play on skin and how I, they wear throughout the day. Um, I can't wait to come back to you with all of those reviews. Um, but for now, I'm just so surprised. They're all quite unique in their own way. So I think this house is going to be really interesting to play with. I don't know if I'm going to like all of them, but I am really excited to see how this goes. So I have my little lemon notebook here and I have all of my notes on the fragrances. I wore one each day in the morning um, until it wore off and then I'd wear whatever else I wanted during the day. But uh, for the first day I wore Keep Glazed. So in the very beginning of Keep Glazed it has this really sweet mango scent that I really enjoyed and I really wish it stayed that way because within a minute or two of the dry down it started smelling like some kind of funky BO on me um, and it just was really unpleasant. I did not care for it at all. I don't want to smell like this weird rotten fruit kind of body odor smell. Um, and I would say it's a pretty linear scent because for the whole duration, the like four plus hours on me, it continued to smell exactly the same, like a weird B.O. Um, it at about the four hour mark, it became a skin scent um, and it still had that weird funky mango bio and that's really not the fault of the fragrance um i find that a lot of those kind of fragrances with those tropical fruit notes or any of those watery like melons and stuff all of those they kind of go off or sour on my skin and they smell like really weird i don't know if it's like my skin or something um I have a lot of issues with any of like the melons and pineapple mango kiwi all of those fragrances kind of 
go off on my skin. I have only occasionally found ones that work for me. This one might work beautifully for you. This is one that comes highly recommended by a lot of people. Um, it just was not a fragrance that worked for me at all. Next is Empathy. Empathy opened up very fruity and then it immediately started to remind me of beach trips with my grandparents. We used to stay at this one particular hotel and it immediately like brought me back to beach trips there at that hotel and kind of the pool so I don't know maybe if it's like a chlorine scent or something some cleaning thing that they use there I have no idea but like it immediately sent me back to that kind of smell um which isn't bad I think I'd love like just a little decant of that fragrance if I want to like have that scent memory and smell it but it's not something that I'd want to wear on my skin um in the dry down of the fragrance it um started to smell like that commercial pink hand soap that you see everywhere and so it's just what it just did not work for me at all but I really love that like moment in time where like it brought me back to my childhood going with my cousins to the beach and like spending time with them so it, there was a bit of it that was heartwarming but it just was not a fragrance that I would want to put on my body next I wore breath of the infinite um my notes on here are just, it just said on my skin it just smells bad like I don't remember this I I wore these Several weeks ago, I kept going back and forth on whether I'd make this because I just don't want to be that critical, but all I wrote was it just smells bad. Uh, I don't know what caused me to dislike it, but I just didn't care for the fragrance at any point during the wear of the fragrance. It just smelled off on me. I didn't like it at all. Um, I wasn't so bad that I had to scrub it or anything. Uh, it also only lasted about two to three hours. Now, mind you, all of these reviews on the longevity of the fragrance is with me spraying it once on each wrist and the backs of my hands. Um, I, I would do that um, primarily because I don't know how the strength of the fragrance and the samples are rather small. It's not like a full body wear and I'm not over spraying it. It's just one or two sprays and some people spray like that anyway So I think that's a good indicator I imagine if I sprayed all over and all over clothes and everything else that it would last a lot longer But on my skin which I tend not to have too many issues with longevity. I would say um, That two to three hours isn't terrible, but like I know if you like sprayed several more times than you got on your skin or your hair or your clothes, anything, it would probably last longer. So I wanted to make that disclaimer uh, because I think I've not been doing a good job of explaining how exactly I spray for these tests. Um, I often just spray on my hands and wrists and stuff because if it is a scrubber, it's a lot easier for me to just wash my hands. I don't want to have to like go and in the middle of the day and take a shower. So this next one, What About Pop, I was so looking forward to. Um, I really wanted a caramel popcorn fragrance. That sounded amazing to me. And in the beginning, it was that. It was amazing. And it was only in the beginning. That caramel popcorn scent went away like that, like 10, 15 minutes, completely gone. Totally different fragrance. And that was super unfortunate because the rest of it just was like, okay. I do not want to spend the prices of these House of Food fragrances just for that like 15 minutes. After about that 15 minute mark, it turns into a sweet floral vanilla. It kind of reminds me of Vanilla 28, um, which is a like for me. I don't love that fragrance. I know a lot of people love it, um, so maybe I'm not getting the same nuances, but to me, it it was similar. I wouldn't even, not related, but like similar. Uh, it's rather than just like a straight up vanilla scent, it has like these floral nuances to it. So it's lovely, but that's not why I want that fragrance. I want a caramel popcorn fragrance. If anybody knows of a good one that stays kind of linear, like in this case, I want like a linear caramel popcorn fragrance. That's all I want from it. Um, if anyone knows of a fragrance like that, I would absolutely love it. Now this one, it was also, um, definitely like a closer skin scent. I had to get like right up in my husband's face for him to even smell anything. Um, so if someone is looking for something that has like that caramel popcorn that like starts heading into like a nice sweet vanilla fragrance, then I would recommend this, but like keep in mind, it is definitely more of a skin scent. However, it lasted about four or five hours on my skin, uh, before, um, completely went away but it was always just really close next i had dates delight it um it was kind of nice it has this earthy sweet smell that was kind of nice but it also had this 
sort of stale, like old mothball, walked into like your grandparents' attic kind of smell, um, which is not what I want to wear <laughs> on my skin, but I kept wanting to smell it. So it was one of those ones that was like, it was a little weird, but it smelled kind of good. Like, <laughs> But I don't want to wear anything that I'm like, oh, it's weird, but it's kind of good. I want a fragrance that like I feel good, I feel confident or cozy or whatever it is. But I want to not question what my fragrance is doing. I know there are people who are really adventurous like that who want to have a unique fragrance that like challenges them. I'm not that person. I don't think I'll ever be that person. So if that's what you're looking for, I'm not like the person to go to. I want something that... I enjoy and I want something that other people enjoy. I don't want to be off-putting to people. So smelling like a stale kind of mothbally smelling attic is not for me. I do not recommend this fragrance. However, a lot of people do recommend this fragrance. I think that it's lovely. Um, I've seen all over um, YouTube. Dates Delight is definitely one of the more popular House of Oud fragrances and so maybe it works for them. Maybe they like more challenging fragrance. It just did not work for me. Last we have Almond Harmony. So this was the one I think Next to What About Pop, this was the one I was most looking forward to. I love a good almond fragrance, and that's what I was hoping this would be. However, this fragrance opened with this herbal almond smell. Like, I almost smelled minty and cooling. It was super strange. Um, I cannot understand how it got that way. To me, it smelled a little bit like, I think... Um, it's one of the reminiscence fragrances. It's either Guimauve or Heliotrope. One of those had like this herbaceous scent that kind of came off um, a little, um, a little menthol-y and it had almond in it. So those kind of reminded me of each other, but this one was a bit stronger. Um, and it was weird that it had like almost this cooling effect to it. Like I don't think of almond in that way. Like I like, um, either a sweeter almond or even a dry like roasted almond but this was none of that and then it um dried down into like this weird floral diaper wipe smell and I, it was like kind of soapy it just wasn't for me it was the biggest disappointment of all of these this was the one that like in the opening when I tried it it almost smelled good and I was really hoping to find another almond fragrance even though I don't need another almond fragrance but this one, it really didn't work out for me. So, unfortunately, six fragrances that completely didn't work for me. Total flops. Maybe that's a great thing. The prices of these House of Wood fragrances is pretty steep. Um, I know you can get good deals on some of them on some of those gray market sites. But um, maybe it's a good thing that I couldn't find another fragrance that I wanted in this collection. But I just... I. I was apprehensive about making this video because I just didn't want to dump over a whole bunch of fragrances that a lot of people really do enjoy. And I'm sure they work better on other people's skin or they don't have the same scent memories attached to them and stuff. But for me, none of these worked. Um, but I would love to know, do you have any House of Food fragrances? Um, do you like them? Have you tried any of them? Do you know of other ones you'd recommend for me? I would uh, love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you gave it a like. Um, if you're enjoying my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And I hope you have a blessed day. Bye. Mm -hmm.